guys, Mr. PC Electronics here. Today I'm going to be working on a laptop. It's a Dell Inspiron M5010. Uh, if you want to know how to disassemble this laptop, just check out my other video on my channel that's uh, how to remove a laptop hard drive. And I use this particular laptop in that video. Um, the problem I'm having with this one is I already got it half apart. Um, I didn't really want to record the whole process again. So check out that other video. Um, but it's beeping seven times. You hit the power button and it goes beep, 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 you know, seven times. And uh, it goes slow though. It's like beep, beep. Okay. So you look up the code and for the Dells, they all have certain codes. And it, seven beeps was the CPU. Um, it said the cache and the CPU wasn't reading. But it could also be the Northbridge chipset. So we have it all apart. And all we're left to is just taking out the motherboard. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, but if you need to get to this point on how to disassemble the M5010, there's also the M5030, I believe, and a few other ones. So they're all pretty much the same. Uh, this also applies to how to change your hard drive because it's right here. So let's get to it. Okay, so pretty much we're just going to take the rest of these screws out. I already got them on the motherboard. Every screw you see, you're going to unplug all of your uh, rivets and uh, plug-ins and stuff. And then we're not going to take the hard drive out because you can't get it because there's a block off plate here. But there's a little clip right here. you got to push it forward and lift. And when you lift, you're going to pull away from uh, the hard drive because you got to get out the headphone jack and all that. And that's how the uh, hard drive comes out because when you pull forward, it just kind of unlocks it right there. So now we're just going to do a little bit of wiggling and that's it. So now that the board's out, right here is your south bridge chip and here's your north bridge and then your processor. The north bridge is usually what goes bad. It's the uh, GPU, the uh, video chip. So that's what we're going to look at and then we're going to look at our processor. So here's the uh, motherboard and all we're going to do is get a Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to take one, two, three and four screws out. So you're just going to unscrew them. Those have springs in them and they don't come out. You don't have to worry about the screws falling out. And we got one right here. And that's it. Just lift up. And you're going to pull the power cord right here for the fan. And just set that aside. Set it over here. And that's it. So as you can see it says AMD on this chip. And uh, this is the one that we're worried about right here. They usually heat up and uh, you actually lose your um, connection on the little balls so that's that we also have our processor chip which is right here and um, I'll probably end up thermal paste and everything back up you're gonna want to clean this up with like a paper towel or something and I'm pretty sure that the uh, processor is fine it's more than likely this so we're gonna heat this up with a mini torch for this job, we're going to use two items. We're going to use tin foil and an infrared uh, thermometer or thermometer. Uh, so pretty much, you can pick this up on eBay for 16 bucks, grocery store. Also, I'm going to be using a little torch. Um, a lot of people can also use a heat gun. Um, it's probably safer to use a heat gun, but I don't have one laying around, so I'm going to use my little mini torch. And we're going to want to bring the temperature up to 245 Celsius, which is about 473-ish, 70-ish uh, Fahrenheit. But we're going to bring it up slow. We're not going to heat it instantly. We're going to heat it, check the temperature, heat it, try to bring it up like 10, 20 Celsius a minute. It's going to take about 5 minutes, 10 minutes to finish this uh, project. So we're going to pull our tinfoil out. Just slice off a little piece. Now we're going to keep it a little loose because when it's, we're not going to fold it just super tight to each other because the more barrier you have, the uh, more insulation it's going to have for the motherboard. And we want to cover it like this. So we're going to push it over top. Make sure you 
clean any uh, Arctic silver off if you have it. You're going to imprint the chip real quick. Okay. So we're going to imprint the chip and now we're going to just cut out that little section. So nothing fancy. I just kind of cut out a square, opened it back up so it kind of breathed. And we're just going to put it over there like that. We're not really going to push on it too hard. We're just going to kind of keep it like that. Now I'm going to take my torch. I'm going to heat it. I'm going to check my temperatures. Got 118 now. Hundred and eighty five two twenty six Celsius, which is uh, four hundred and thirty eight Fahrenheit. We're almost there. Four hundred and twenty two Fahrenheit. Four fifty one. We're just going to hold it right there, about four fifty one, four sixty for a couple of seconds. And that's it. I'm going to let it cool off now. Now it's been cooling for a little bit. It's cool to the touch. I'm just going to install the uh, heat sink back in here, put the motherboard in, see if we can't get it to boot up. And uh, keep in mind, a lot of people say this is a temporary fix. Um, I wouldn't dis quite disagree with them, but at the same time, <clears throat> I did one for my mom. She had a HP. It was a, um, a smaller 14-inch HP. It was the DV uh, uh, 2000 series, and I did that over almost four years to this day, and it's still running uh, perfectly with absolutely no problems. Um, I refloat it the same way I did this, and uh, sometimes you get uh, you do all right, and some of them, I guess, the solder joints it actually runs out of solder, and it can't really be uh, put back. There we go. Let me kill the light. Let's hit power. And there you have it. Now we're uh, powering up. We don't have any more problems. It's just uh, asking if I want to go in safe mode or whatever because it crashed, you know, due to that problem. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to fix a Dell Inspiron M5010. It beeps seven times and doesn't post or boot up. Uh, this applies to other Dell Inspirons and other Dells. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.